Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Frozen and thank you so much for joining me today. Anybody remember these? 2016, does that ring a bell? If you've been following the channel for a while, you might remember me talking about my disappointment in the Spider Poly Pro webbing sold by dutchwaregear.com. Now, the reason why I originally purchased these was because there was some weight savings between the standard polyester webbing that I was currently using and the Spider Poly webbing, which Dutchware was selling. Also, as an added bonus, there was supposed to be a little more uh, water resistance or it didn't hold on to water as well as the polyester webbing. And I'm just thinking to myself about the weight savings at that point, not even considering the durability that this could possibly have over the nylon webbing. And that's what I want to talk with you today. This is a long term review of this webbing that has been on my hammock for the past you know, two and a half, almost three years now. And this has over 200 hangs on it. And right now it is not showing any signs of wear or tear, no stitching issues. And the fabric, though a little dirty, looks pretty brand new. You really couldn't tell that I had taken this out so long ago and been using it for this long. Now, I found myself replacing the standard polyester webbing, which most people use on their cinch buckle straps, probably every two years or maybe 24 nights. And, you know, over time, that is a big deal because that money adds up. And that's where I really think the Spider Poly Pro webbing shines. I have not really had any issues with these. It grips the cinch buckle excellent. You can use it in a Beckett hitch system if you don't want to use cinch buckles. There's just really no reason to not use these, except for one minor detail. Going back to my 2016 first looks at this where I did the water test, right? I put both uh, suspensions, the webbing in a bucket, swished it around with water, kind of flung it around, got the water out, and this was still holding a ton of water and took over seven hours to dry. That's really the only downside of this. Yes, this dries a little faster, but I do feel like over time, this would far outweigh the cost of buying these every now and then. All right, so comparing and contrasting both of these webbings, the standard versus the Spider Poly webbing, obviously you can see the looks difference. You're looking at an all black versus a black and white, almost zigzag pattern. When you're handling the polyester strap, it does feel a bit firmer and more rugged than the Spider Poly mix, but I can assure you that the durability is in favor of the Spider Poly strap. Both of them have a 1500 pound brake strength, and when looking at your weight savings, you're gonna save about one ounce for two 12 foot straps. So each strap weighs a half an ounce less than a standard polyester strap. When we're talking about leaving the suspensions out in the rain and dry time is the big difference between these two. The polyester strap holds about 0.65 ounces of additional water until it dries over the course of six hours. And when talking about the spider poly strap, this actually holds an additional one ounce of water while it's drying. And we're talking about a dry time of about two nights. And meaning I'm comparing it to nights versus hours is because I usually pack up wet in the rain and I take these straps off of my hammock and leave them in the mesh of my backpack to dry the outside pocket. And then I put it back on my hammock whenever I reach camp. Some people might be wondering what the heck this little dangly thing is on the end of this. This is a carabiner replacement. Uh, it's called an Evo Loop. There's tutorials on how to make these if you want to do it yourself with some AM steel. Or if you head on over to Jeff Myers Tech, um, his Facebook site, I'll leave some links in the video description. Uh, you can just purchase these. He has an eBay shop uh, that you can get these from. But uh, this basically, uh, for those familiar or use the Dutch clip, these are great. I think these are like, uh, you know, five, six grams or so. They're titanium. And what they do is they go around a tree and then you kind of just loop into that tree, just like that. Uh, my issue with these on the lighter webbings, especially if you're using, you know, light webbings with a Beckett hitch and not a cinch buckle, uh, these do tend to wear out. Kind of looks like someone took a scissor and just started cutting your webbing if you kind of hang in the same spot every time. With this, this is three grams, replaces a carabiner, and just 
you know, does the same thing. Plus, as a bonus, you can actually uh, take this off one-handed. So after years of back and forth between different types of webbings, I do finally recommend the Dutchware Spider Poly Pro webbings, which means I am looking to try something new. So if you have a webbing brand or a type of webbing for a cinch buckle system, I'm not into whoopee slings. I've tried those plenty of times. It's just not my thing, but I am willing to try something new that works with the cinch buckle system. So. Leave your recommendations for me down in the comments below. I'd love to try something new. I'd even be willing to start maybe shying away from it and doing something with a Beckett hitch or something like that. So let me know what you guys use and recommend. And also let me know how your experience has gone with the Dutchware Spider Poly Pro webbing. Thanks everybody for watching. If you found any use in this video, click that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. It greatly helps the channel and helps me even more get on the Pacific Crest Trail for another through hike. Thanks everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Frozen and thank you so much for joining. Joining? Joining me? Joining me. Yes, joining me today for some kind of disappointing. This actually took a lot longer to dry. There. Dry.